Well, good Monday morning to you. Paul Swanson with you from paulswanson.com and the Swanson Report. We'd appreciate it if uh, you'd visit both places. And uh, as my friend Willie Lawson says, hit the tip jar. That would uh, that would be that would be uh, much appreciated. Anyway, paulswanson.com, and if you Google Swanson Report, that is our mobile site, and um, you can watch or uh, consume whatever we put out there uh, on your mobile device. We are heading back. There's actually sunshine, as you can see, probably, and I apologize if we get a little glare on here, but that happens as we're driving around. Um, it is uh, nearly 10 o'clock on Monday morning, the 5th of December, and we are heading back from us having spent about an hour this morning with the Bayfield County recount happening down here at the Bayfield County Courthouse in Washburn, Wisconsin. Um, I'll have a few more details on that, but I came down just to see how that went and um, just to be a concerned uh, voter and a concerned citizen <coughs> in uh, this part of the northern, northern Wisconsin. So it was very interesting. Um, held in the annex portion and like I said I, I will do a I'll, I'll do an, a, a, a post on this with uh, accompanying photos and uh, I think I also did do one little Instagram uh, little video excuse me but other than that um, very interesting um, Bayfield County is very small there were no more than about 20 25, certainly not more than 25, probably 22, 23 people total in the room. Uh, they had four teams of four each uh, individuals. I'm not sure how they broke it all up. Uh, Scott Filbert, the county clerk, was there kind of overseeing everything, making sure it was all running smoothly. And uh, they had uh, three of the teams were strictly doing hand counting. Uh, and one of the teams was doing a hand count and then also running it through the tabulating machine. This is the kind of tabulating machine. I know we had these when I was on active duty in the Navy. <clears throat> you probably saw them if you're old enough to know that they were available in um, schools and everything. You fill out a piece of paper. It's a scanner, basically. It will read... Uh, whatever's fed through it. Uh, the scanner was working fine. Uh, it was accurate. Uh, in talking with Scott, not all of the counties in Wisconsin use the paper ballots with the tabulating machines. Uh, many of the counties use the uh, digital, what did you say, digital DREs, digital recording elections or something like that anyway uh, use the electronic machines so that was uh, that was interesting I I would be I'd be very surprised if the uh, the vote totals changed in any dramatic way here in um, Bayfield County was interesting. I was one of four observers, at least while I was there, and um, the first question out of one of the individuals, one of the other observers are, so who are you here for? Are you here for the Greens, or are you here for Hillary? I said, I'm not here for either. I am here as a concerned voter, just to observe what you know, observe, you know, um, democracy in action. And uh, that seemed to appease them somewhat, so. <laughs> but 
but it was very, very uh, clear there was some agenda going on from the observers, so that's okay. Um, it's a pretty, you know, yes, you're watching d Democracy in Action, and yeah, it's a snooze fest. It's not a... No sudden outbursts from any of the tables of the teams. There are no hanging chads. Um, yeah, there are people counting ballots. Uh, I was very surprised to observe that there were a number of folks who vote who went to the polling place, were given a ballot put the ballot in through the reading machine and never voted for president. Some people voted for two people for president. I don't know. I don't get it. But You, know, you can't, um, can't account for the way people's minds work or anything like that. So, uh, so it was interesting. Um, I have some other notes that I'm not going to uh, try to read while I'm driving here this morning, heading back home. The, um, what's interesting that they were very, um, they were very glad to see us there. As far as the observers, I, like I said, I was, I was one of four who were there at least while I was there this early this morning. Um, they were, uh, the county people were very. Uh, receptive to us being there, <clears throat> answered our questions, kind of explained some of the things that were going on. Uh, the team members were also very helpful in going ahead and <clears throat> narrating, if you will, what they were doing as they were processing, <clears throat> excuse me, processing the ballots and going through the process of counting ballots. So it was a, a very positive experience. I, like I said, I, I am uh, I'm pretty, you know, I, if, if the vote tally changes, you know, by, uh, you know, 0.001% uh, at all, I'd be very surprised um, in, in either way. Uh, the other, you know, I'm there just observing, taking notes. I, one of the the uh, county workers there asked asked me if uh, they were going to see this on YouTube this evening. I said, uh, hopefully you were going to see it this afternoon. And that's what I'm going to do as soon as I get back home and I can upload this and we'll get this uh, up and running and also post a, a, a regular blog post to it um, with photos. Uh, very well organized. Uh, all the folks seemed to you know, know what was going on and... Um, you know, when they did have questions, they asked the question of the county clerk and um, got that question answered and moved on. There was no real um, discussion or, or problems with votes or ballots or anything. Uh, I think there was one, one instance where they had somebody who apparently, and this is another one of those things, you know, people go in and uh, go to their polling place on election day and pick up a ballot, probably go behind the curtain, they really don't do anything, went and uh, put the ballot in through the reader, and the ballot was completely blank. I, mean, I saw the ballot, but there wasn't any, no markings on it, anything at all, so... Not quite sure what that was all about, but again, I do not understand if you are a voter in this country why you would take the time. Now here, it's not a big deal. You know, I uh, I live in a town of less than 500, and um, so you know, there's no great uh, lines on election day at your polling place or anything like that. Not really a problem. Not going to take a big chunk of your day time to do that. So, uh, why you would not do your civic duty and go ahead and vote is um, is a bit puzzling. Um, 
the county clerk was very confident also that there weren't going to be any uh, surprises in the ballot counts, uh, you know, much of a change from what was reported. Uh, the, uh, the county people were Not perturbed, but you know, it was commented to me that um, you know, hey, we do paper ballots. Our counts are accurate. Um, if there's a problem yet, you need to go after those counties that uh, are using the digital machines. And even in that, there is, there has not been any. Well, I won't say. I won't say there hasn't been any. I saw an article this morning that uh, Waukesha County, which is just outside of Milwaukee, um, had, <coughs> excuse me, has, is reporting some errors, but they weren't reporting it in the, in the, um, in the electronic machines. They were reporting discrepancies within the ballot counting, the actual paper ballot counting, so I, I don't know what that was all about. Um, but this particular county individual that I, that I spoke with, we were just chatting, said that you know, if, they, if they really have some discrepancies and speaking specifically about those who drove the recount, or requested the recount, the Green Party, uh, they really need to go after the counties. If they had a concern, they should go after the counties who were using the electronic uh, machines, certainly not the ones who are doing paper ballots. These are hard-working, salt-of-the-earth, blue-collar people up here who have a whole lot of other better things to do than spend the better part of a day here in Bayfield County um, recounting a valid election, presidential election. So, um, but they were polite about it. You know, there wasn't any, uh, certainly not any hate and the discontent and vile vitriol that uh, you see from the status left and the Green Party and, and Hillary supporters of just uh, outright anger and, and you know, uh, about the election. I, I don't get that. I, I haven't understood that. I don't understand the hate that I read about online in various places, social media and others, and just out and outright hate for Trump. And um, it, it's just amazing. I, I, you know, I, I don't know the man. I, you know, if you don't know the man, unless you have a personal relationship with somebody, how can you hate somebody? I, I don't get that. Anyway. Um, Okay, getting close to home here, and I'm going to have to wrap this up. So, you may notice that uh, we're doing a few different things as of the first of the year. PaulSwanson.com and the Swanson Report are going to be the two major spots that you're going to see postings to. Of course, we're going to be continuing to do YouTube videos as we can. Uh, We are, like I said, we, we have a place, uh, you can hit the tip jar up in the upper right-hand corner of paulswanson.com, and uh, we appreciate that because that's how we get to do this, that's how we get to put gas in the car and go and observe these types of things in Washburn and other places across, I can't go down to Waukesha, that's about a six, seven hour drive here, if you would like to... Um, contribute so we could do things like that, I would certainly appreciate it. I, I, that would be very, very, very appreciative. Um, we also have a Patreon uh, page that has started. I posted uh, a link on that last night or yesterday afternoon. I will put a link in uh, in the YouTube area here to the Patreon page, so if you would like to go ahead and um, contribute that way, that would be much appreciated too. We are 
looking to continue to fight the statist media narrative that has been going on all uh, through this most recent election. And uh, it's going to be people like myself, people like Willie Lawson of Fight Back Media, with whom I partner. Uh, we're going to be the ones who are going to be getting the word out. Because we don't have an agenda, we would like to, you know, I went to journalism school, yes, I'm an actual journalist, real journalist, you know, we were taught who, what, where, when, why, and how, those are the things that you do in a story, so that's, that's our basis for doing things. Um, go ahead and we appreciate if you give this, this video a thumbs up, like it, share it with those others of your social media, in your social media world and um, contribute either at paulswanson.com or when I go ahead and I got the, I'll get the link up for the Patreon, you can certainly uh, contribute via Patreon. And uh, as I said, that all would be much appreciated. So thanks again, and we'll talk with you all again real soon.